Um, okay, it is um, Sunday, so it is two weeks since the last video, and it'll be three weeks on Tuesday that I had the operation. So I thought I would just do another video. I'm only going to do this one and then one more, and that's it. So soak it up, soak it up. Um, um, so, um, I re-watched the video from hospital the other day and it's really weird because when I think about that period of six days when I was in I can actually barely remember anything um, I was on so much morphine and so much um, tramadol and in so much pain um, it was just insane like the amount of pain I have never experienced anything like that it was unreal like real sharp like stabbing pains in my stomach and it was all, you know, to be expected and everything, so it, it was no indication that things went badly. It was just super painful. Um, so the wound, the where I've got, which I can't, you can't even see, it's just covered up, da -da, um, is fine. And I go to the nurse at the surgery um, every, either every other day or every three days and get the dressing changed. And... Um, it'll just heal itself, it, it's amazing. Um, it gradually will just close up and it'll look like a cigarette, bad cigarette burn. Um, so that's fine and it doesn't really hurt. Sometimes if I wear trousers that are pushing on it, it might hurt a little bit, but that's stopped now. And I don't take any paracetamol or tramadol anymore. Sadly, because the tramadol was amazing, um, but I don't really need it anymore because I'm not in pain. Um, but the other day I was um, sitting there and I was like, oh, maybe I should take a tramadol just in case, you know, I get a bit of pain. And then I was like, mm, actually, I'm not in any pain at all. I really don't need a tramadol, uh, but they are amazing. Um, and I didn't take to them at all when I first had them after the first operation. I didn't like them at all. I was like, whoa, it's too much. But now I'm, I'm like, oh my God, I really want some more drama doll. And, you know, I'll just sit there and um, be watching, like, Dickinson's Real Deal or some Escape to the Country. And I'll just be lying there like, oh my God, I'm so relaxed. This program's so good. Oh, it's so interesting. Oh, it's so great. And just get this massive feeling of, like, wellness and everything is so wonderful. But um, it probably isn't wise to start taking them when I don't really need them. Um, so, no, no more pain relief, which is good. Um, I'm totally continent, so I can, you know, just like a normal person, I'm not shitting my pants. Although I did shit on my hand about a week ago when I was putting some pseudocreme on. I think I was a little bit vigorous and I shat all over my hand on the floor. I was like, oh dear, shit on my hand. I just had to laugh. Um... But yeah, no, I'm fine. And I went to the hospital on Thursday to see my surgeon just for like a routine appointment. And I played a little joke on him actually when he walked in the room and he was like, oh, hi, Sarah, how are you doing? I won't do his Irish accent because it'll just be shit. Um, and I was like, really? And he was like, yeah, how are you doing? How are you feeling? I was like, honestly, how am I doing? And he was like, yeah, yeah. And I was like, fabulous, which was quite funny. I think he was like, oh, you're really annoying um but um yeah so I went to the hospital and him and the stoma nurse were both really impressed and said great that's good that you I'm only going about like maybe seven times a day but I haven't been taking any pyramide which is a tablet that you take to slow your digestive process down um but I have been going about three times in the night so I've started taking the pyramide before I go to bed just having a scratch, it's fine. Um, so that's really worked. So actually when I've been going to bed now and I've been taking it, I go to the toilet at maybe like 11, half 11, and then I don't need to go again until sort of six o'clock or something in the morning, which is really good. Um, so that's great. And I have been a bit sore down below, but I've been using Sudocrem. So get some Sudocrem, people in my situation, and that really helps. Um, and then just the other thing is like the emotional aspect of everything, which I think is actually the most profound. Like physically, I feel amazing. I'm able to walk around. I've been shopping. Do you like my new pants? Yeah, these are new. Um, I spent like £150 in about half an hour because I was a woman possessed having not been shopping in 
about five months, I was walking around like, I love that, I love that, oh my god. And because I've lost the weight as well, I'm like, oh, size 10. Haven't been able to wear these for about 10 years, woo! Um, so I feel fabulous health-wise, um, but emotionally, I think I didn't really bank on how I would feel. And obviously because the last sort of three and a half months when I had the bag, I was focusing on the next operation and worrying about that. And I think I totally underestimated how much I was actually terrified of it not going well and terrified of waking up and having um, the bag still there, which was apparent when I was in the recovery room and the um, surgery nurse came in when I'd just woken up and I was like, oh, did it go okay? And she was like, yeah, it did, it went fine. And then my surgeon came out and um, I grabbed him and I was like, did, Fenton, did it go all right? And he was like, yeah, it did, it went really well. And I was like, no, honestly, Fenton, was it okay? Was it, was it all right? And he was like, yes, honestly, it was fine. And then I just burst into tears and went, thank you for giving me my life back. And he was like, oh my God. So obviously, I just didn't appreciate how terrified I was of things going badly. So the first sort of week or so after the operation, well the hospital bit, the pain wasn't great, but then when I got home and I was all right, I was like almost euphoric. And probably the tramadol had a little bit to do with that as well. Um, but I just felt phenomenal because I knew it's worked, I'm gonna be okay, oh my God. And then I think that the last sort of couple of weeks I've been, or the last week I suppose, um, I've been kind of thinking about, right, well I'm, well I'm well, I've, you know, I've got my life back in that sense and I'm gonna, you know, be, be fine. So you sort of look at you, the rest of your life and I realising it's like, holy shit, I've got no job, I've got no relationship, both of which is because of what's happened with all this stuff with operations. And I've also got a home in an area that I really do, really don't like. So it's a bit like, oh shit, I've got to like rebuild my life, which is quite a big thing. So I'm actually going to go and have a bit of counselling, I think, and speak to someone about everything, just because having a chronic illness for five years and having it rule your life and then suddenly not having it anymore and having the freedom to do what you want, but also having to kind of fix all the things that having colitis has broken, like not having a job and not having a relationship and stuff, is like, it's just totally overwhelming when I think about everything that I've gone through in the last sort of four or five months. It's just too much to deal with. When I think about the magnitude of it all, it's like, oh, so I'm just gonna try and deal with one thing at a time. So I'm renting my flat out and I'm going to rent a new place on the coast so I can live by the seaside and then we'll sort the job out. And then whenever we'll sort the whole being in a new relationship out, which will come with time, and I'm not in any hurry to be honest. I think I just want to get my job and my place sorted out and just enjoy being healthy. Um, so yeah, I'm at the parents for a little bit, about another week because my granny's coming up. Woo! Um, and then I'm home and then I'll make another video, probably, well, I don't know how long it'll be. I'm gonna just do the final one when I'm all healed up in my wound and so I can show you what it's like. Um, so yes, that might be about a month away or something. So have a lovely summer. Thank you for watching and thank you for your support. Okay, bye.